we introduce you to an exceptional volunteer, someone who goes above and beyond to make our community a better place to live. And that person is nominated by their peers for a Jefferson Award before then sharing their story with us. News 19's Heather Armstrong introduces you to this month's winner. And Heather, you say it's hard to pick a favorite winner, but this one's got to be up there, right? Oh, you can't believe it, Dustin. First of all, all of our Jefferson Award recipients are great people. But Howard Dunham, he's in his 80s and he's got more energy than people half his age, but mostly he's got a big, soft heart. Now, like the rest of us, Howard said this past year was a tough one. But unlike many of us, Howard turned that pain around by giving back. Howard Dunham puts his heart into everything he does. There is so much good in life. So much good. And everything he does is for his community. I can just see the goodness in the people in Westby. And they see the goodness in him. And I want you to pay attention to this humble man standing on the corner of East State and Maine and notice how cheerfully he goes about doing his work and serving our community in that regard. How's it going today? Steve says he first learned about Howard after he applied for the crossing guard position, but that certainly wasn't the last he saw of him. Have a good day at school. You too. Thank you. If you look around where our community is gathering, where good work is being done, Howard's going to be there. Howard started volunteering a lot after retirement, but not for reasons you might think. It all started when his mother was a resident at Westby's Bethel home. I would go to visit her and she wasn't in the mood to be disturbed. She had dementia, so I'd go upstairs and volunteer. Giving back to the older community members is especially dear to Howard because he says he knows all too well what it's like to feel alone. Well, a year and a half ago, I was kind of withdrawn and I had some bad thoughts. And I think it was maybe around the time the COVID was starting or something and you stayed at home and I maybe got into some bad habits with alcohol and that for a while and, and I thought this isn't the way and uh, it's get yourself out of it and quit and uh, there's better way of life. And that better way of life for Howard means serving others. He's everywhere, all around all the time, never wants the spotlight, which I think is one of the most fantastic things about him. He just humbly serves. Morning. Howard is in his 80s, was breakfast? but you wouldn't know it. He's always busy. If he's not watering flowers at the Westby Area Historical Society, he's cleaning the church and working funerals. And every week he volunteers at Come for Supper, a community meal at our Savior's Church. He not only preps the food, he socializes with the guests during the meal, and afterwards, he cleans up. Thanks for coming to Westby. Good morning. morning. You go to church and have faith, and also see the good in other people. See the good and praise them. I love that. Howard also calls bingo at area nursing homes and takes care of flowers in the parks and he just volunteered at the Vernon County Fair. On top of all the other things he does on a regular basis, he's gearing up for the big community Lefska making event. Oh, Dustin. Always tasty, <laughs> Heather, and uh, thank you for that. And thanks to photographer Travis Udell for going the extra mile to catch Howard in action. And if you want to learn more about Howard's favorite city, you can join him on the Walkabout Westby event on Thursday, October 7th from 4.30 to 7.30 in the evening.